In 2015, astronomers made a stunning discovery, a distant star exhibiting unprecedented and perplexing behavior. Its irregular light patterns defied all known explanations, sparking a flurry of scientific debate and capturing the imagination of stargazers worldwide. Tonight, we bring you an in-depth exploration of Tabby's star, revealing the latest breakthroughs and shedding light on this cosmic mystery. Welcome back, tech enthusiasts! Today, we embark on a mind-boggling journey through the vast expanse of the cosmos to unravel the enigma of KIC 8462852, better known as Tabby's star. I'm your host, and this is Tech Nation, your gateway to cutting-edge discoveries in science and technology. In the 21st century, the field of planet hunting has experienced a remarkable surge, with the transit method emerging as a frontrunner. This method capitalizes on the phenomenon of a planet passing between its parent star and our line of sight, causing a temporary dimming of the star's light. Transits have become an incredibly fruitful approach for detecting exoplanets, leading to the discovery of thousands of star systems hosting planets. However, within this rich tapestry of discoveries, one star has stood out as an enigmatic oddity, Tabby's star. Unlike any other known star, Tabby's star exhibits an astonishingly large and irregular decrease in its brightness, devoid of any discernible repetitive patterns. This peculiar behavior has puzzled astronomers for years, sparking a flurry of speculation that ranged from comet storms to the presence of colossal alien structures. After extensive investigation and scrutiny, scientists have finally unraveled the mysteries surrounding Tabby's star. The answer lies in an entirely novel understanding of dust and its role in causing such unprecedented dimming events. This revelation brings us closer to comprehending the intricate mechanisms at play within this perplexing stellar system. The resolution of the Tabby star mystery underscores the inherent complexity of planet hunting missions. While these endeavors are designed to uncover the hidden secrets of distant worlds, they also unearth unexpected anomalies that challenge our preconceptions. Yet, it is through these extraordinary discoveries that scientists push the boundaries of knowledge and expand our understanding of the cosmos. The newfound understanding of Tabby's star serves as a testament to the tireless efforts of astronomers and researchers, who tirelessly strive to untangle the mysteries of the universe. By embracing new perspectives and delving into uncharted territories, we continue to push the frontiers of scientific exploration, uncovering the intricate workings of the cosmos one discovery at a time. The landscape of astronomical exploration was forever altered by NASA's Kepler mission, an extraordinary endeavor that meticulously surveyed a staggering number of stars, over 100,000 spanning several years. Amidst this vast trove of data, one star captivated scientists and emerged as truly exceptional. KIC 8462852, affectionately referred to as Tabby's Voyagian star, in honor of the researcher who first documented its intriguing behavior, Tabitha Boyagian. Alternatively, it has also earned the moniker, WTF. Star, due to the initial perplexity it caused with its unconventional characteristics. Tabby's star possesses a distinct combination of properties that render it entirely distinct within the celestial tapestry. It experiences massive drops in brightness, with flux reductions reaching an astonishing 22%. This magnitude of dimming far exceeds the typical dips observed when planets pass in front of their host stars, which usually cause reductions of less than 1%. Over the course of decades, Tabby's star exhibits a gradual fading phenomenon, punctuated by intermittent episodes of brightening. This behavior is unique among stars of similar nature, as other comparable objects do not demonstrate this unusual interplay between long-term fading and occasional bursts of increased luminosity. Rather than a smooth decrease followed by an increase, the overall brightness fluctuates around the dimming events, presenting a perplexing puzzle for astronomers. Intriguingly, Tabby's star does not emit significant amounts of infrared radiation, a characteristic that distinguishes it from all other stars exhibiting substantial flux dips. This absence of infrared emission adds an additional layer of intrigue and sets it apart from its stellar counterparts. The distinctive and enigmatic attributes displayed by Tabby's Boyagian star have sparked intense scientific curiosity and have challenged conventional explanations. This celestial oddity serves as a reminder that the cosmos is replete with surprises, constantly pushing the boundaries of our understanding and beckoning us to delve deeper into the mysteries it presents. Planetary bodies alone are insufficient to explain the profound light blocking observed in Tabby's Boyagian star. 
even considering the possibility of an immense planet with a vast ring system akin to a super Saturn, the resulting flux dips would exhibit periodicity and display a smooth pattern characterized by a plateau. These characteristics contradict the empirical data collected on Tabby's star. One plausible hypothesis suggests that the star could be in its early stages, hosting planetesimals, a protoplanetary disk, and existing within an environment abundant in dust. We have indeed observed stars with significant flux dips that align with this scenario, with such phenomena typically associated with young stellar systems. However, Tabby's star defies this explanation due to its advanced age. It has far exceeded the age at which it could possess a protoplanetary disk by hundreds of millions of years. Moreover, crucially, it lacks the expected infrared flux emission that would accompany a star with a protoplanetary disk. This glaring discrepancy initially led to its tongue-in-cheek designation as the WTF, where's the flux, star. Another plausible explanation posits a series of cometary events, where substantial amounts of dust are released as comets plummet towards the inner regions of the star's solar system. This theory, which gained traction relatively recently, could potentially account for the short-term flux dips observed. However, it falls short in explaining the long-term dimming of the star, a phenomenon that has been observed over a century. Tabby's, Boyajian star's name does not stem from its discoverer, but rather from the scientist who spearheaded the investigation into its intriguing and significant behavior. The star has been known for over a century, and historical observations indicate a gradual fading that the cometary model fails to explain adequately. Cometary dust is typically dispersed within months, making it improbable to sustain a diminished flux over a span of more than a century. The scenario would require an incessant bombardment of comets in a similar orbit, a phenomenon for which we currently lack a satisfactory explanation. These complexities highlight the ongoing challenges and mysteries surrounding Tabby's Voyagian star, as scientists strive to uncover the elusive factors contributing to its peculiar behavior. The quest to unravel its secrets continues, urging us to push the boundaries of scientific understanding and explore new frontiers in astrophysical research. What remained were the few remaining possible explanations to account for the perplexing behavior of Tabby's Voyagian star. One intriguing and popular concept put forth was the idea of alien megastructures, where an advanced civilization beyond our technological capabilities was constructing a colossal apparatus that intermittently obstructed a substantial portion of the star's light. As this hypothetical structure progressed in completion, the degree of light blockage would correspondingly increase. Over the course of a century, the observed dimming of the star's light could be interpreted as a sign of progress in the construction process. However, Extensive follow-up observations have debunked this theory. The fundamental reason lies in the fact that an alien megastructure, or any solid object for that matter, would completely obstruct the passage of light, rendering it opaque. Through a meticulous analysis of over 19,000 images captured in a span of three years, across a range of wavelengths from blue to infrared, a crucial discovery emerged. Blue light was consistently preferentially blocked during all dimming events, including both short-term flux dips and the long-term fading of the star. This peculiar characteristic suggests that the phenomenon is attributable to the presence of dust particles that possess a minimum size capable of selectively blocking blue light while allowing redder light to transmit. This finding further substantiates the presence of dust as a key factor in the enigmatic behavior of Boyajian star, effectively ruling out the hypothesis of alien megastructures or other solid objects like planets or moons. Indeed, Boyajian star defies our expectations by encompassing a combination of factors that are rarely found together. Notably, it exhibits an abundance of circumstellar dust, a characteristic typically associated with extremely young stars in the early stages of formation. In addition, the star itself is brighter, hotter, and more massive than our sun, emitting over four times the amount of light. Remarkably, despite these traits, the star is also quite old having burned steadily on the main sequence for hundreds of millions of years. This leads to a perplexing conundrum. The properties of the star suggest that the observed dust should dissipate within months. However, since the dust persists, there must be a mechanism by which the star replenishes its supply. Currently, two plausible possibilities emerge as the most viable explanations. Firstly, there could be an external dust ring encircling the star harboring dense dust clouds or experiencing periodic bombardment events. Alternatively, there may exist external factors, separate from the star itself, 
that contribute to the blocking of starlight and the presence of dust. These compelling observations and puzzling characteristics continue to fuel scientific inquiry, pushing astronomers to explore the nature of dust and its connection to the intriguing behavior of Boyajian star. The search for answers continues as researchers endeavor to unravel the enigma, driven by the quest for a deeper understanding of the cosmos and the secrets it holds. The gradual decrease in brightness observed since 1890 has persisted up to the present day, but it is not a steady decline. In addition, there are both long period dips lasting months and shorter dips lasting a day or less superimposed on top of the overall dimming trend. This behavior can be attributed to the presence of dust particles, potentially as small as 100 nanometers in size. The ratio of how the light dims in different wavelengths and colors provides evidence supporting this explanation and rules out alternative hypotheses. The next question becomes, where does this dust originate from? To gain further insights, scientists involved in the research calculated the amount of dust required to account for over 100 years of dimming and dipping events. Just considering the dust within the transiting plane defined by our point of view, the quantity needed is roughly equivalent to the mass of the moon. However, it is possible that there is a larger amount of more distant interstellar dust, which is also supported by the data. This interstellar dust could either replace or coexist with the circumstellar dust. Regarding the presence of a disk of material around the star, it represents the bare minimum. There could potentially be a significant amount of dust not only within the observable plane but also outside of it, forming a halo-like structure. Currently, the exact distribution remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. If this additional dust exists, it cannot be close enough to emit infrared radiation. The presence of comets as a potential source of dust also raises intriguing possibilities. The James Webb Space Telescope holds promise in determining whether the comet hypothesis aligns with the observed flux dips by examining the presence of infrared radiation. Lastly, an intriguing explanation has been proposed. The dust may be the result of stellar indigestion. If a gas giant planet, similar in size to Uranus, was consumed by Boyajian star, it could account for the observed phenomena. An in-spiral event involving a planet or a series of planetary bodies, occurring potentially centuries or even millennia ago, could have caused a temporary brightening phase, with the star gradually returning to its stable state. The observed flux dips might then be attributed to debris from the earlier disruption, or the evaporation and outgassing of smaller bodies. Regardless of the specific mechanism, one undeniable conclusion emerges. The dimming of Boyajian star is due to the presence of dust. This is ordinary, particulate dust with particle sizes as small as 100 nanometers, or smaller than the wavelength of visible light. This dust is responsible for both short-term dips lasting a day or less and long-term dimming that has persisted for over a century. The key question that remains unanswered is the origin of this dust. It cannot be solely attributed to the star's youth or ongoing formation process, and the possibility of an unseen companion is highly constrained. While interstellar dust contributes to the overall picture, the intriguing possibility of a devoured planet or other unusual factors may also be at play. Further scientific investigation is necessary to shed light on this enigma. However, one thing is clear. Even if alien megastructures exist elsewhere, they are not the cause of the phenomena observed in Boyajian star. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey into the mysteries of Tabby star, KIC 8462852. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of this enigmatic celestial object and the ongoing efforts to unravel its secrets. Thank you once again for being a part of Tech Nation. We look forward to sharing more awe-inspiring discoveries with you in the future. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep embracing the wonders of science and technology.